Hey, good evening. Good evening, Facebook. Good evening, Instagram. Thank you so much for joining and tuning in. Really appreciate you checking in whenever you're able to catch this live. I'm going to give people a few moments to join. Hello, uh, Spur to God. I think that's how you say that. I'm not sure, but thank you for, for joining. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. For those who are new to me or unfamiliar with me, my name is Candace Washington, also known as the Client Curator, because I help, my, I help entrepreneurs and my clients to increase their revenue by improving their customer and client retention. So if you're watching this on the replay, go ahead and drop replay in the comments for me. If you are unaware, we've been going live every day in the month of December to talk about various topics related to customer experience, improving your customer retention and increasing your revenue through customer retention. So today we're going to be talking about why you're losing clients because of your systems or the lack thereof. So if you don't even have any systems, that could be why you're losing clients. So for one, the first thing is if you're using too many systems. If your clients have to go to one system for scheduling and then another system to get copies of contracts and then another system to communicate with you and just too many places for them to go, that creates a very wonky experience because it's not a seamless experience for your clients. Um, if you have links that don't work that you send out to clients and say click this to complete this and then they click the link and it doesn't work or whatever's supposed to be there is not there, that creates a very wonky and disjointed experience for your clients. Uh, hi Janae, thank you for joining. And so the next thing is if you don't have next steps when you're working with your clients, I know I work with a lot of service-based businesses and so there, you know, my contracts I, I work with my clients for many months. And so if I have no follow-up and after something is completed, my clients don't know what's coming next or what to do next or whatever the case may be, and I don't provide next steps, they don't know what to expect next and what to expect when or what is coming or what have you. And so again, that provides just a very disjointed experience for your clients and your customers. And so there are a few things that you can do to make sure that your systems, or if you don't have any systems, are not contributing to your retention issue. So the first thing is to keep it simple. You want to have as many steps or as few, excuse me, as few steps as possible for your clients to be able to do whatever it is you're asking for them to do. So whether it's schedule an appointment, whether it's submit information to you, or what have you, you wanna have as few steps as possible. The next thing, your, your process, <clears throat> excuse me, should be simple. And so it really should have a flow. Once they do one thing, then the next thing comes and that they know what is coming next. They know what the process is. They, they have an idea or a general overview of the process and the flow and, and how their contract or how their interaction with you is going to go. And then the third thing is you want it to be streamlined. And so as I alluded to a moment ago, your client shouldn't have to go to one system for something, one place for something else. Everything should be in-house. And so there are a lot of systems out there that allow you to do everything, that allow you to have client portals, that allow you to uh, have a scheduling uh, calendar within that system that allow you to house contracts and videos for your clients and all sorts of things. And so if you are, if you'd like to know what some of those portals are, just let me know and I can share some that I'm aware of with you, but you don't need to have various different portals or apps or websites or whatever to, to accomplish managing your clients. And so those three things, again, are you want to make sure that your process is simple, that your process is seamless, and that your process is streamlined. And so pick a platform and rock with that platform until you're not satisfied or until you find something better. But don't have your clients running here and there trying to figure out, you know, oh, well, I need to, I need to uh, favorite this website for this and this website for that or whatever. That's just too much for your clients. And you want to just keep it as simple as possible for your clients, because if they have to start wrestling with too many different things and going in too many different directions, that's when they start to disengage. And as I've talked about a number of times this month, disengagement is the first step to losing clients. And every customer you lose is money that you lose. Every client that you lose is money that you lose. And so 
I hope those steps are helpful for you. I definitely invite you to book a free discovery call with me. You can do that at the link in the description above so that we can discuss our signature client curator program and figure out whether or not it'd be a good fit to help you and your business increase your customer retention, improve your customer experience, and all of those great things that are very necessary to having a successful business as we go into 2020. Uh, shoot, that might be the end of next week <laughs> or definitely in a couple of weeks. I want to make sure that we're firing on all cylinders and making sure that the, the experience that we're delivering to our clients and customers is as exceptional as it can be so that we are retaining more clients than ever. So with that being said, if you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be sure to come back and respond to those. Hope this information has been helpful and valuable to you. Thank you so much for tuning in, those who were able to join live. And if you're catching this on the replay, again, please type replay in the comments for me. I hope that you have a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. Until we meet again, please be blessed. And as always, remember to treat people well. Have a good night, y'all.